I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set up the Fiery. Say you have a Konica Press, and you need to set up uh, your Santa email to the Konica Press. And the way this is the way it's done now. The best way to do this is to either, if you have uh, your command workstation, and this is something you could actually download through EFI Fiery. So for those of you that do not have command workstation, which is basically this right here, I have my shortcut on my desktop. I'll go ahead and open that up. This is my command workstation, and this is uh, one way we could log into Fiery and connect and, and set up the scan email. Or you could actually go to open up a web browser, and you want to go ahead and pretty much put the IP address of that Fiery, which either your IP will have. Just type in the IP address on top here. Type in the IP. Once you get here, you're going to get this web page. Go to the configure tab. Click on launch configure. Now, if it doesn't work in your web browser, it's best to use Internet Explorer. I've seen not great results through Google Chrome or Firefox, but it's best uh, to use this to explore. So click on launch. launch. And the next option you are going to get, you're going to get this window here with all the Firebase configuration this is how you configure the fire so right now this is how you log into the fire but i prefer my pre preferred method is to actually use my command workstation and again this is something you could download through fiery and i'll show you how to get that basically if you google efi fire which is e f i f i e r y fiery and your first hit will be fiery digital print solution this is a third party application. So once you get here, right here, you're going to have a link that says Fiery Command work Workstation. Click on the link on their website. Once you get there, right here, Command Workstation 5.5, just download it, follow the steps. You're going to have to register. It is a large download, so it takes some time. Um, you have maybe 20, 30 minutes. It's going to download, and after you download it, you could install it. So it, it does take some time. But you don't have that again you go through the web browser get to the ip launch on the configuration and you will get your configure pop-up i'm going to go ahead and use my command workstation for me that works much better if you have a command workstation and you do not have the fire install or the ip just click on add on the plus screen button uh, see if you can search it. click on this option what the Fiery does, it's going to search your network for that particular Fiery. It found mine, which is right here. Got the IP address. I could add it. And I'm going to connect to that Fiery. Connect it. Okay. Now, to log into the administrator, all the both Fiery's are the password is capital F I E R Y dot one. So it's capital F I E R Y dot one and go to log in. Okay. Once you log in, going to be to in the command workstation of the fire a controller now i'm going to go ahead and configure this controller and take a look at my settings for the scan to email so i'm going to go up here where it says device setting center click on this tab device center on top right at the bottom you'll see a configure icon click on the configure icon and also keep in mind as you can tell i am using it looks like this is a konica 7000 press so this is for the Konica copiers, uh, basically Konica 6000, 7000, 8000, which coincides with Fiery's IC 412, 413, and uh, basically again just for Konica copier Fiery. So let's configure. Click on my configure option. I should get my pop up to configure the machine so I could take a look at my scan to email. Once I get on there, this is my configuration. So once I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and let me close this and click a configure option. There we go. Now once I get here, you're gonna have your, your have your settings. What we're looking for is to how to configure the scan to email on the fire. First thing I do check a couple things. So the server options, you can tell there's a few options here. So we do not need to set these up. But one thing that is critical. On the general option of the server, make sure the time, which is date time here, click on that set option, make sure the time is correct. So, and this is critical when you scan to email, make sure the time is correct. Uh, you can also make sure this is turned on so you could uh, update your time through a 
outside third-party server but again make sure the date time it's pretty much a couple minutes off or dead on on the fire date that is very critical when the machine needs to scan the email okay that's basically the first step and then the next step we're going to do is we're going to your network settings click on your port click on your ethernet port just confirm you want to make sure it's, it's set to auto detect you got all these options 10 100 and 1000 megabytes and if you don't just make sure you grab you set those settings and also make sure every time you make any changes you apply it so right here make sure you apply those settings now the protocol tcp ip now confirm your ip addresses make sure it's set to manual so make sure the, the fire ip doesn't change ipv6 if you're using it great check it if you're not uncheck it make sure the ip address for dns dns is confirmed once you do that apply those settings now double check your dnss make sure your dns is correct if you have a secondary dns go ahead and put it in um you could like if you like you could put in the, your domain name put it in here too apply those settings uh, if you have a win server put in at the win server do the same process and, it, and all this information your it support will have so got to configure the, all that information got to find that information from your it support once that's done make sure you apply those settings the next step will be you want to go to your services so let's go ahead i'm going to go back back into my network i'm sorry services back in my services now for the scan to email option i do need to go down here where it says scan i mean my services option scan so i gotta make sure my ena enable scan updates is checked enable email that's also checked and also windows smb go ahead and check that and the ftp make sure it's checked by default make sure your file format is say is set to pdf now and also right here this is also critical your attachment size by default for some reason the fire comes to one megabyte so make sure this is set to the max fire rate conical fire rate at the moment only goes up to 15 megabytes to scan to email for the email attachment so make sure it's set to 15 megabytes and then what you're going to do next is basically click on your email settings click on the icon it's going to give you another pop-up again your email is enabled and in here you'll start inputting the information that you need display name this is you could give the fiery name what you want to see when the email comes to you on your attachment uh fiery email address you do need to put an email here for the fiery now one thing you know, like to keep in mind there is an email option here but if you come to the bottom here way at the bottom there's another email both of these emails this one and the one above have to be different emails but the one that the fire is most concerned is this one at the bottom. This has to be a valid email. Depending on your email server, if it's 2007, 2010, 2013 exchange, those servers do like to see a valid email. So check that with your IT. Make sure you have a valid email address. You can put it down here. And if there are some locations where you do have to put a valid email here too. But both of these emails, the top and the, and the bottom one, do have to be different emails. Now, the incoming a mail server uh, i do suggest you don't have to use pop no one uses pop for the fiery so i would just put something generic in there just type in none um because for some reason the fire wants to see something in the boxes to confirm that uh there's something in the boxes for some reason i'm not sure why just type in none none anything generic now your outgoing mail server right here you want to go ahead and put in your email server name uh, it could be the name of the server or the IP address. I do prefer to use the IP address of the email server um, if it's on site or hosted. So put in the email address for the email server. I'm sorry, the IP address for the email server. Give it the correct port. By default, all email servers are 25, but that could be changed. And that's information the IT will have. And then right here, this particular box says add pop before SMT. Make sure this box is unchecked. If you don't need it, if you don't need to use it now authentication required this basically means now if depending again on your email server your it will know this um, i would actually start without authentication turn it off you could also once you do that you could apply those settings save those settings once you save the settings once you do that that's pretty much it make sure the last step you have to do is you have to reboot the fiery you gotta reboot it basically what that's going to do is save the settings and the fire will take five to seven minutes to get back up again once that's reboot go to the machine try try your scan to email 
If that doesn't work, come back in here, go back into your scan settings, go into your email settings, and then most likely you need to put an authentication account here and basically the username and password. So you need to use someone's account that is valid with a valid password. Put it in here, save the settings again. And then once that's done, make sure you reboot the Fiery. So the Fiery, so all the settings will take place. So that's basically it. That's how you configure your scan to email on Hanukkah Fiery's for well, the 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 series, which you could be using an IC 414, 412, 413. But that's the way you configure scan to email. Always remember, set your settings. Once everything is configured, you've done all your check checking, just reboot the Fiery. Say yes, and you're on your way. Thank you very much.